actually, is the kick. Hang on the bar, lift your legs up and drive them that way, as far away from your hands as possible. If you can keep your legs straight, even better. If you can't, you have to bend and push your knees away from as far as you can, then do that one. Um, ideally, the further you push away, the more you push back, and the further you'll get forward again. So you've really got to think about that kick. So you come here for the dead hand, and then from that point, you drive, push and pull back. Thing is, is the way back. What most people do on the way back is they block themselves. So on your way back, most people get here and they go here and they reach back. They squash their bum right up into their hips, um, enabling them to block themselves so they can't pull, push forward again. You need to make sure you go that way as much as you can on the way back. So don't arch your back too much, bend your legs behind you, because then you end up with this whipping motion which takes you up more than forward. You need to try and get distance. Again, I'll show you some kick, push back, push forward, push back. And you notice I use the block to stop myself and slow myself right down so I land them down straight. Making sure you push again away from your hands, your hips are going to be here, you're going to arch, dish, arch, dish. Don't push back with your shoulders. A lot of people tend to do this as well, so they push back, they push back, and they drive their head back. You don't want to drive your head back, you want to drive your toes back. Keeping your body, again, as straight as possible, arch and dish, arch and dish. Um, never push forward when you're travelling backwards, never push backwards when you're travelling forward. Wait till the movement's complete, and as you're about to fall, really kick and push forwards. When you push forwards, don't lift your head up too high, okay? It's arch and dish, not into a cup shape where it completely snaps in half. Got to make sure it's just a small amount of movement so your toes lead and your toes come back. A lot of people, again, as they come forward, they lift up too much. It's too much. You don't need your, you need your hips to come forward. I'm going to get, I'm going to get myself swinging. The key to the ring is patience. The key to anything with a longer strap is patience. Don't rush it. If you find yourself rushing it, you're going to be pulling back because your body's going forwards and you're going to end up finding yourself in the same, position, same place just going backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, which I'm sure we've seen before on various different shows. Okay, so, I'm getting that bit there. So I'm going to go from dead hang. Can you move at all? It's all in that kick again. So, kick, drive back, wait for it. Kick, drive back, wait for it. Kick, drive back. Now look, I'm moving. Kick, drive back. Thank you. 